as I carry on my way, I'm catching up with Fran O'Boyle, who helps youngsters affected by an all too common trauma. Fran works for Women's Aid, a grassroots federation dealing with issues of domestic abuse across the UK, a problem made worse by COVID. Helped by your donations to children in need, they've been able to support children caught in what's been described as a shadow pandemic. Women's Aid works with um, women, children, young people. We provide support and information um, to help them and guide them um, in their journey of domestic abuse. There are refuges across Northern Ireland that women and children can access when they need to come out of a very unsafe home. Yeah. And children, I suppose, are the ones without a voice as well. Yeah, very much so. I mean, we have staff across Northern Ireland to talk about their feelings about being frightened and that they say, that I can't sleep because I think bad things or children as young as eight and nine years old who talk about not wanting to go to school because if they go to school, daddy might hurt mummy. It's tough. How has the effect of the lockdowns changed your work? Well, we've seen a huge increase in referrals. They were locked in with perpetrators in homes that weren't safe places to be. So children that would talk about school being their safe place, um, that, that was taken away from them. Discussing domestic abuse can be difficult, but it's an important subject that needs more attention. So before I leave, I'm meeting two women who've lived through it. Lizzie and Rachel, not their real names, were both children at the time. Thank you both for being generous enough to tell us your stories. What were your early memories? When did the abuse start for you? Um, I was around the age of nine. Um, and it was my mum's boyfriend at the time. One memory that will always stick with me is standing at the top of the stairs um, and standing in between him going for my mum. Protecting her. Protecting her. And, you know, another memory, going down the stairs and seeing her wearing sunglasses and saying, why are you wearing sunglasses, mummy? And she forgot herself later on. She took them off. There was black eyes. You know, there's times I remember thinking if I... If I hadn't done that, she wouldn't have got hit. Gosh, so much for a young person. But it was basically, he nearly killed my mum at one stage, at the worst. The person you love most in the world? Yeah. You know, nothing a child should go through to experience something so awful. And, um, and for you, Lizzie, what memories do you have? My, my mum feared for her life, you know. Daddy was shouting at mummy and I was screaming, crying. And I'm, my mum always says, my dad lunged at me, you know, shut her up, shut her up. I was four and I'm, that was the one time my mum stood up in front of him because he was going for me. And from a young age, I always knew what women's aid was. They saved our life, 100%, I stand by that. Women's Aid saved our life, and therefore Women's Aid changed my life. Very often the hardest part in seeking help is recognising that you're not alone and taking that very first step. And thanks to the work of organisations like Women's Aid, help is out there but none of it would be possible without your support. So please text or go online and give what you can. <laughs>